my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the T. Let's get straight into it. So, I'm gonna start this video off with the baby. Now, we all remember what just happened with the baby, where basically he performed at Rolling Loud and he decided to say a very messed up, very controversial statement, which later on caused him to get canceled by a lot of his fans and caused him to lose a lot of supporters. Now, not only that, a lot of celebrities and people who have worked with the baby decided to speak out and say that they did not agree with what he said and some people actually said that they will no longer be working with him anymore now once this situation got really big and it was basically all over social media everybody was canceling the baby that's when he decided to speak out on the situation and try to issue an apology now if you guys want to know exactly what he said definitely check out my video in the description where i basically read to you guys the tweet where he apologized apologizes but after he apologized a lot of fans just weren't feeling it like they did not care they did not feel like the apology was good enough they actually felt like in the apology he was just trying to make excuses now it is the summertime as we all know there's a lot of festivals and more concerts and things going on that the baby was supposed to attend and he was supposed to perform at and then now it looks like almost every big festival or concert or ball is actually canceling him they're taking his name out of everything now let's start off with the first one which is huge now the lola palooza has been around since 1991 it is a huge big festival where all types of artists come out to perform and they actually decided to take the baby out of the festival so no longer will he be performing i mean the lola palooza is one of the biggest festivals in the world so not only is he losing a lot of he's money, also missing out on performing at a very classic festival that a lot of legends have performed at now the second festival is park life which is usually held in england around september the 11th or 12th now what park life actually did they released their new list and the new list showed that they actually actually took the baby's name off of their performance list basically letting everybody know that the baby is canceled from performing at park life this getting is getting really sad now the third event is actually the governor's ball and they actually released a statement along with dropping him off of their performance list basically saying that they do not support any type of discrimination so anybody who has showed these type of actions or said you know some discriminating things will no longer be performing at their ball which they're basically shading the baby in this and there's a lot of more festivals and concerts that he was supposed to perform at that have canceled him and taken him off of the performance list now the baby hasn't said anything about this like i said he only issued out an apology to anybody that he offended but I can only imagine this is very embarrassing for and him. And I'm basically only saying this because an article came out and made a very valid point that along with the baby losing, you know, these festivals and concerts that he was supposed to perform at and these fans, he's also losing a lot of money as well. And this is just a prime example why you should watch what you say. Like I said in my last video, nobody's taking away the fact that the baby can feel the way that he wants he's his own person he can have his own opinion but then when you say things and you're offending people that's when you're taking it too far if you wouldn't want anybody offending you and saying certain things to you why would you say it or shade other people in that way now I also wanted to talk about Tory Lanez because like I said in my last video Tory Lanez has been trying to speak out and defend his friend the baby defend excuse me and this is another prime example why you should watch who you hang around now we all know that tory lanes was canceled last year 
for his situation with Megan Thee Stallion. And now he became very close with the baby so much so that it seems like he's not even friends with Megan the Stallion no more. We know that Megan the Stallion, the baby, they had a song together. They were really cool, but then recently they got into it over the Tory Lane situation and it kind of seemed like the baby sided more on Tory Lane's side and decided to stay cool with Tory Lane's and got into it and ended his friendship with Megan the Stallion and now coincidentally he is being canceled kind of the same way that Tory Lanez was canceled as well. Now, like I said, Tory Lanez has been trying to speak out and defend his friend, the baby, but birds of a feather flock together. That's why they say, watch out who you hang around because eventually you will end up being just like them. Now, I'm going to reiterate myself once again. Yes, Tory Lanez is trying to show that he's a good friend to his friend, the baby, and trying to stick up for him. But then what good is that when Tory Lanez is still canceled as well? And then what good is that when the baby is actually losing money? Like money is actually coming out of his pockets after this situation now i'm not saying that it's tory lane's fault at all because yes the baby you know decided to say what he said tory lane's has his own situation but the fact that he wants to defend the baby and speak up for him and have his back is kind of putting him in a category as well and it's like yes tory lane's you can have the baby's back you know by speaking up on your twitter and on your social media platforms defending him but can you have his his back when he's losing this money from these big festivals and concerts like can he give you that money back in your pocket like I said you definitely have to watch who you're hanging around and no I'm not saying that you know this situation happened because the baby is friends with Tory Lanez but it's just a prime example of the quote that a lot of people use watch who you hang around because you can end up exactly like them but you guys let me know your opinion in the comments below do you feel like i'm right or wrong and how do you feel about the baby being canceled from multiple festivals and multiple concerts anyways guys let's move into our next topic which is going to be ruby rose and ddg now nobody really knows a hundred percent what's going on between ruby rose and ddg it seems like these two might still have something going on but it doesn't seem like they're actually in a relationship now all we know is the other day on twitter they were were being very shady and we already knew that they were talking about each other ddg started off and he said my next girl gotta have less than 60 bodies and then that's when ruby rose actually tweeted and she said my next dude gotta be tall i wanna wear heels well it looks like ddg actually had a change of heart or these two may have talked after being shady towards each other on twitter because that's when ddg posted the other day and he said my tweet was petty and made up and i admit i took it too far that's my bad i'm sorry roopster now he basically in this apology let everybody know that he was talking about ruby rose now he could have made like he was talking about another girl or somebody else but him apologizing and putting Ruby Rose's name in it let everybody know that he doesn't really have respect for Ruby Rose and he actually thinks that she has a lot of bodies. Now, of course, it is good that he apologized to her. I'm not saying, you know, it's a bad thing completely, but he could have just apologized and not put her name in there. Now, so far, Ruby Rose hasn't responded but like I said in my last video about Ruby Rose and DDG, their relationship definitely gives me very toxic. But hey, that's how they want to be. That's what they're used to. So let it be. Anyways, guys, I wanted to lastly briefly talk about this whole JT and Carisha situation because their text messages had me laughing. Now, Carisha decided to expose her and JT's um, text messages, basically her showing that she misses 
jt after only a day now these text messages read why you don't call me and that was carisha and then that's when jt was like carisha i call you every day but today because i've been out and then she said hey babe then she said back hey boo i just got up shatavia you don't check on me and then she said jt said carisha that was one day i'm getting up now i'm gonna call you and five minutes now she only went without talking to her for like a day and she's already missing her saying that she does not call her and check on her no more which is super funny i want to know in the comments below how many of you guys are like this with your best friend anyways guys this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and of course i will see you in the next video